Hey there guys, welcome. Okay, so I wanted to basically provide you guys with variety of movement that you can do at home. So these videos are meant to be, you know, 15 to 20 minutes or so, very gentle movement. I'm not trying to rip muscle, we're not trying to overexert our cardio or get to a point where you're sweating profusely. Uh, these videos are intended just to give you something to do, you know, while you're binge binge watching Netflix or, or you know, in between each of your, your TV show episodes and want to have a little break from just sitting in stagnation and instead just move the body. So again, 15 to 20 minutes, I'll be, be providing a bunch of these videos um, that you can use at home, only using your body weight, very accessible, anyone can do these. So uh, we'll start. If you have a mat, amazing. If you don't, no worries at all. You'll start on your mat, just facing forward. We'll take the hands in front, inhale the arms wide up overhead. Exhale, hands back in front. Two more times. Inhale, look up. Exhale, hands in front. One more time. Breathe in, look up, lift the sternum, stretch. And exhale, back down. Take your shoulders to your ears, back and down. We'll open the feet a little bit. Don't hip width or so. Bring your hands out in front. Gently bend the knees, sending the seat back and down. Press your heels to rise back up. Let's do five of these. Hips back, lower. Press the heels, squeeze the glutes to rise. So three more. Hips back, squat down, press the heels, rise. Two more. Squat down and lift. One more time. Hips back, squeeze the glutes, rise back up, hands by your sides. Bring the palms to face forward and squeeze as if you were holding a dumbbell. We'll curl up in front, open your elbows out wide, Press up to the ceiling. Bring the elbows out wide and go really wide as you come down. Again, five of these. So the weights, if you were holding weights, would come forward, elbows out, press up, elbows wide, come all the way open. Three more. Forward, out, press, elbows wide, all the way down. Two more, forward, out, lift, elbows wide, and last one, forward, out, press, lower, go wide. Good. If you have a mat, pivot yourself so you're facing one direction. If you're sort of carpet at home, no worries, everything works. We'll take your hands on your hips, a gentle bend in your knees. Move the right foot back, and then bend both knees just to graze the floor with the back knee. Come back up, right foot forward. Same thing next side. Left foot back, bend both knees, touch, rise up, left foot forward. We'll do five. So this one's number four. Bend, rise, forward. This one's still number four. Bend both knees, rise up, Back to four. We'll move to three more of these to go. Three. Lower. Lift. Forward. Still. Three. Two more. And last one. And forward. A gentle bend in your knees, place the hands on your thighs. With your inhale, look up, lift your tailbone up. As you exhale, bring your chin to your chest, protect your tailbone under. There's a few more times. Inhale to look up, lift your tailbone, the sternum moves forward in space. And round in as you exhale, chin to chest, tuck in. Let's do two more. Inhale. Think of a U shape in your spine. Exhale, chin to chest, tuck your tail, look at the belly button. And one more. 
Breathe in. Lift. And breathe out. Make your way back up to neutral. Your hands walk down your legs. Make your way towards the forward fold. So you move the hands under the ankles, the feet, the floor. A little gentle bend in the knees to avoid the hyperextension. Relax the back of your neck. And then nod your head up and down. Yes. Back of the neck relaxed, nod, no. Chin, left to right. A hand on the thigh. Next one on, come rise back up. And we'll reach right up to the ceiling. Hands high, interlace your fingers. Think of pointing the index to the ceiling. Reach up, breathe in. Lean towards your right as you exhale. And come back upright, breathe in. Lean the other way as you exhale. We'll do one more of these on each side. So inhale to rise up. Exhale to lean to your side. And one more time. Breath in, rise up. Lean the other way. We'll come back upright. We'll take your arms wide to your low back. So your palms will face inward. With your palms faced in, look up, lift the sternum, draw the elbows closer, lean back. So you're engaging the glute muscles, lifting your sternum, the mid part in the chest, up. For three, two, and rise back up on one. Give that a shake, release all of that. We'll take your, well my left arm, likely your right if you're nearing me, across the body, your other arm underneath, just give your upper arm a pull. So you should feel this in your upper back. Take three breaths. And we'll open out big and broad. So an inhale to get open. And next side, you move your other arm across. Take the arm underneath, so you're pulling the upper arm in. Three breaths. And then open out wide. Take a breath, get broad, arms down. Lift your shoulders up, back, and down. Take both hands up behind your head. We'll interlace the fingers right behind your scalp, right behind your head. Point the tailbone towards the floor. Lift your ribs up. Lean back. So you want to feel a bit of a shake deep in your belly. This is core work. We'll rise back up. Keep going. Lean back. Press the hips forward. And rise back up. Keep going. Let's do three. Rise. Two, rise, and one. Rise up, good, release the arms wide. Shoulders up, back and down. So again, if you are on a mat, we'll just pivot so you can use the whole mat. If you're not, no worries. Let's bring the hands on the hips, gently bend the knees, lift the heart up so you're lengthening the spine, and then hinge with a flat back. So we're trying to isolate an opening in your hamstrings, the back of your thighs. When you feel you found the edge of the range in the back of the legs, release the low back to fold forward. And bend one knee, then bend the other knee, back and forth. We're going to bend to both knees. Move your right foot back, right knee down. Left hand on your left leg, come upright. You can interlace your fingers under your left thigh. Uh, if your right knee is feeling tender, you can double up the mat or a pillow underneath your right knee. So again, your fingers interlace over your left leg. Grow tall, press the hips forward. 
You're welcome to stay here, but if you want a deeper stretch, keep your left hand on your right leg. Reach your right hand for the ceiling. Lean towards your left. Three. Two. And rise back up. Both of your hands come down to frame the front foot. Start to move your hips back. So you want to get a hamstring stretch under your left thigh. We'll hold for three breaths. Slide your left foot back so you're in a tabletop position. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round in. Chin to chest, tuck your tail under a few more times. Breathe in, look up. Exhale, chin to chest, push your hands. One more time. Breathe in, look up. And then keep your hands on the floor, walk your knees back. So you're in one line from the knees to the crown of the head. Take a full breath in, and then we'll bend the elbows for five. We'll be slowly lowering for four. Keep your hips lifted. For three, the core drawn in. Two, hover off the mat, and we'll touch down with the ribs first. So ribs on the floor. And keep your feet long, you can walk the legs away. We'll lift the chin, lift the ribs, lift the hands. Lower back down, chin and hands touch. Two more times. Keep your thighs engaged, lift up. And lower down. One more time. Everything lifts up, hold. And come back down, chin to touch. Press your knees, press your hands, rise up to a table. Open your knees out wide. And your hips back to your heels. Your forehead down, your elbows down, relax, and gently rock yourself left and right. And then rise back up to a tabletop. Tuck your toes under, lift your hips to the ceiling. And then walk your feet up to the top of your mat. Use your hands to walk up your legs, rise your way back up to stand, and then reach up to the ceiling. Take a breath in, look up, and your hands to prayer as you exhale. Take a full breath in, and your hands by your sides. Inhale your arms wide up overhead, breathe in, look up, and we'll fold forward this time. So fold forward right down to the floor. Any little movements here, you can sway your hips left and right. You can bend one knee and bend the other knee. Maybe a little nod of the head. With your hands on the floor, bend the knees. Move your left foot back, left knee down. Untuck your left toes. Right hand, right leg, come up right. Fingers interlaced over the right thigh. Lift your ribs up and press your hips forward. Again, you're welcome to stay here. If you need to tuck the mat underneath to support your left knee, go for it. The next step, if you want it, could lift your left hand high. So we're keeping the right hand on the thigh, left arm from the ceiling, lean towards your right. So lean towards the front bent knee if you're nearing me. Three. Two. And we'll come back upright. Both hands come down to frame the front foot. Start to move your hips back, and you can lift the front toes. We'll come back up, right? Keep your hands on the floor. Slide the right foot back so we're in a tabletop position. Hands and knees. Inhale to look up, lift your tailbone. Exhale to round in, chin to chest, tuck the tail under. Do this two more times. Inhale, look up, tailbone lifts, sternum towards the mirror. Exhale. 
exhale to round in, push your hands, look at the belly button. And one more time. Breathe in. Look up towards the ceiling. And then curl a deep arch into your spine. You can bring back up to a neutral position. Your toes tuck underneath, hips up, downward dog. Bend your right knee, bend your left knee. Back and forth. And then rise up to high plank. Top of a push up. If you want to lower the knees down, you're more than welcome to. You could also stay straight, one line from heels to crown of head. Take a breath in. Bend the elbows for three, nice and slowly lowering down. For two, more weight in the knuckles, don't dump in the wrists, and touch the ribs down on one. With your hands off the floor, lift the ribs up, like a back sit up, and lower down. Two more times. Ribs lift, hands lift, lower down. One more lift, and touch down. Push the knees, push the hands, rise to tabletop, knees wide, hips to heels. Forehead down, relax. You can push your hands down and away if you like, hollowing out your armpits. Again, maybe a little rock left and right. And we'll rise back up, tabletop, toes tuck. Hips lift, down dog. With a bend in your knees, hands walk back to your feet. I'm going to use the index and middle fingers to scoop the big toes, or you can stay in the passive fold. If your fingers scoop up, scooped up the toes, lift your hips high. For three. Two, and release that. Your hands can walk up your legs, slow and steady, rise your way to stand. When you're all the way up, bring the shoulders to the ears, back and down. And we'll take a step forward with your left foot. Keep your hands on your hips. Lift the right toes off the floor, lean in. back knee through. Lift it up. Place it back down. Next side. So we'll step forward with the right foot. Lift the back toes off the floor and lean in. Hold for three. Two. And move your back knee through. Lift your knee up. Shake. So a couple more things to do. Put your feet about hip width. We'll bend down, try to touch the floor, rise back up, reach up. Try to keep your body upright. So you're bending the knees to touch down, but keep the ribs lifted. Gaze forward. Touch, rise up, reach. Bend your knees, touch the floor. Rise up, reach for the ceiling. Three more. Down, touch weight towards the heels. Squeeze the glutes to reach up. Two more. Touch and reach. Last one. Touch down. Rise up. Hands by your sides, give that a shake. With your feet on the floor, we'll lift your heels up. Lower down. Up, down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it off. And then the last thing we're going to do it will just be more and more leg work. So you can keep your hands on your hips if you like. Take your right foot back, bend both knees, then try to bring the right knee through right away. Lift it up, foot down. 
same side. Right foot back, bend both knees. Right knee through, put it down. We'll do five more. Right foot back, bend, through and lift, put down. Four. It's okay if you lose balance, just keep going. Last one. Next side. So hands can be on the hips or by your sides. Your other foot back, bend both knees, bring the, the knee through and lift, foot down. Back, bend knees, through, down. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last. We'll do a brief seated, seated stretch, so come on to your seat. We'll begin with the, for me, the right leg lengthened out, of course we'll do both sides. So right leg long, left foot, inner thigh, arms to the ceiling, twist towards your left. So the right elbow moves to the inside of your right thigh. Look towards the ceiling, reach the left arm up. You can stay here or the left hand can move behind your head. Lean towards the long leg. Three. Two. And on one, rise back up. Shift your body so you're looking out towards the long leg. Arms high, breathe in. Fold over your thigh. Three. Same leg long, your other foot up and over, hug the leg in. Three, two, and one. We'll switch. So center yourself, lengthen out the other leg, bring the foot in, arms up, twist, left elbow down, right arm up towards the ceiling. You could also move the right hand behind the head and lean towards the long leg. Three. Two. One. Rise up. Both arms high. Twist towards the long leg. Reach and fold forward. Three. Two. One. Come back up. Keep the same leg long. We'll take your foot up and over. Hug the leg in. Three, two, and one. Okay, we'll release. Bring the heels together. Grow tall. Sternum forward and fold over your feet. that's all for today. Thank you guys for using this, uh, this video. Uh, I'll be sending one ideally every other day, so feel free to use this one over and over again if you like. Um, stay sane, stay safe, stay happy, uh, do your very best to keep moving while you're home, okay? Uh, have a great day. Bye now.